Okay. That's the component that I need. Endless sands. Collect 30 blue cubes to gain the breathing module. Hurl cubes into the un into the uprising stream. Hold the right mouse button while throwing to make a burst of cubes. Don't fall in the water. Sh oh. Okay. Um. What? Do I have to jump down there? Oh. Oh god, I keep falling. I'm assuming it wants the blue ones. There we go. I gotta collect 30 of these things? Oh my god. Hey, asshole! Just stole my cube! What is this thing? What does that do? Bad cube. Oh god! Hey! No fair! Oh god, what happened to it? Where did it go? Uh... It blew something up. Ah! I keep falling! That's probably not good. Fuck you, cube, you prick. Fuck off, cube. Fuck off! Fuck off, you stupid cube. I'm assuming I'm gonna die because I have to collect 30 of these goddamn things. No, leave my cube alone, prick. See, I'm- I touched the water. Oh, and this will bring me back up. Okay, thank God. I thought it was a type of situation where once I went down there, that was it. Oh, God damn it. Stop blowing up the world, you stupid cube. Anytime you want to stop with the vacuum thing so I can finish this. God damn it. God damn it. Alright, that's the last one I need, right? Yay, I win! I got the breath module. Now, granted, I could have skipped that, but whatever. That was really hard. <laughs> At first, but then once you figure out, oh, if you just combine a blue cube with a white one, it gives you two white cube or two blue cubes. Bam, I got it. I actually did it. Jesus. This video is going on way too long. I'm just gonna have to split this up into two parts. So I guess part two is gonna end with me just being like randomly. Any any there we go. I got it! Put it back in my inventory. Let's -a go. Let oh, I can take the slide. Hell yeah. New task added. Find a way to exit the territory of the complex. Yay! Well, that was fun. Okay. I made it. I have the thing. Why? What is that? Everything's levitating. Cool. Okay. Cloud country. I don't know whether this would be useful, but there were people that were dubbed outsiders. For whatever reason, they sought to spread the sterility virus. They were the reason the virus became a global scourge. But how they did it, or why, that I do not remember. So now I have to figure out a way to get the hell out of this place because there's a fence all the way around. The only reason I got in here was because I walked over a tree. So now I have to run across the entire outskirt of this place, which, okay, is fine, whatever. And find a way out. Because that's where actually where I came in. is right there. But I don't know how to get out. Shit. Oh, this thing works? 
Oh! Okay. I just ran through the entire complex trying to figure out how the fuck to get out of here and all I needed to do was steal this thing. Which is a hovercraft. That I somehow know how to use. Oh! Well, awesome. Can I get up? There we go. So I somehow just, you know, repurposed that thing. Oh, it takes you to the tram station. Oh, that makes sense, actually. So that people don't have to walk all the way over there. They can just jump off the train and grab one of those things. Okay, that's cool. Weird, but cool. That took forever. I literally walked around the entire complex trying to figure out if there's like a hole in the, the fencing or something like that. Nah, I just literally had to sit down on that hovercraft thing, which I had no idea what it was. Okay, so let's head back inside and give her her breathing module. Hey, are you awake? Did you bring the module? Yes, how do I install it? Yes, how do I install it? There should be a pipe inside the chest. A trachea. The air passes through it, so you need to connect the module to it somehow. All right. Okay. So, do I have to shut you off, or? Nope, I can just take your take it out. Okay. Uh, this, and then there you go. Now you can breathe. And let me put your breastplate back on, so you're not naked. Thank you. Don't mention Don't it. Don't mention it. Finally, I'm breathing. How goes your search? Did you find the password? Not yet. But I did remember a bit about myself. I used to work here at the Gerbera Garden as a teacher, I think. I remember kids being brought here to watch a show. They would then play in the pavilions, carry body parts from there, and pile them up by the stage for some reason. What an odd amusement park to build. Strange indeed that it was built here. There's something I don't understand. You said it was abandoned, but it's still operating. It's got power. Why wasn't it taken down? Explosion. It's full of some poison. Do you remember anything oh, about that? Oh, she doesn't know anything. Um, you think I know what it was that exploded there? Disparatoxin. What's that? That's the substance from which the virus came into being. The epidemic began after one such explosion. Despair it? What? You mean there were other explosions? Several hundred, all across the globe. Who carried out the explosions? Remember I was telling you about the outsiders? The explosions were their handiwork. Were they terrorists? What was their goal? No goal to speak of. They weren't even doing it on purpose, really. Simply, sometimes their passium capsules would explode in their chests, spontaneously. The emotions generated substance was the cause. Oh. What was wrong with it? It had a dangerous component, bitter passium. It's a kind of dark liquid which may suddenly turn poisonous and explode. Those people were carrying a bomb in their chests. It wasn't their intention to massacre thousands of people and strip the entire race of the ability to procreate. But that's what happened. Wow. But how are they different from that the That was others? really... Defects. The more defects in the DNA, the more bitter the passium becomes. Outsiders were at once pitied and feared. Nobody wanted to live next to a time bomb. Many outsiders left their hometowns. They didn't want to cause anyone trouble. So that's why they were called outsiders. Well, yeah. They were called all sorts of things, including lower class and ugly people. I still remember the slogan. Protect society from the emotions of ugly people. What an unexpected problem for society. Wow. But not the only problem. Living in an M body requires fuel, and fuel can only be obtained in exchange for sweet passium. Provided you have it, which the outsiders did not. They were unwitting spongers. What is sweet passium? That's the valuable substance produced by beautiful people. Oh. I told you about it. In reality, sweet and bitter passium are two parts of the same substance. Well, you can't have one without the Everybody other. Everybody produces both components with their emotions, only in different proportions. People with purer DNA end up with more of the sweet stuff and less of the bitter, and vice versa for the outsiders. Beautiful people are therefore valuable, whereas ugly people are dangerous. That's a real shitty so way to put it. So where did the outsiders get the means to live? 
They were issued poor heredity assistance from the Public Rescue Fund. The fund was founded and sustained by a special tax that was levied on all the citizens. First and foremost, on the beautiful elite. A lion's share of the reserves went towards supporting ugly people. Thus, they became a constant headache, not only spreading the virus, but also draining the rescue fund. Those ugly, poisonous spongers. It was their emotions that were poisonous. Uglies are dangerous merely by living and feeling, in that they deprive the rest of any hope of returning to the way things were. I remember all the heated debates, the frantic search for a solution. And did they find it? Yes, I think so. The committee proposed a hibernation program, putting the uglies to sleep. I guess that makes sense. It would probably, it would intentionally stop the bitter aspect of it being formed. Come again? What kind of sleep? Deactivation. A voluntary shutdown. A temporary one until the virus is destroyed. And many of them agreed, realizing it was the best option they had. I don't know whether it helped or... Hold on. What? The password. I think I got the right one. Yes, I'm in. I see the files. Trying to find info on the employees. It should have my data as well. You've got strange eyesight. Why is that? You see virtual files. Well, yeah. I wouldn't refuse regular eyesight either. It's all dark, but I can't figure out what's broken. I can see your eyes moving. The screen, it's the screen on your face. It's broken. Yeah, but it it's called a look screen. And yes, it's damaged. Might there be a working one at the Gabera Garden? There probably is, but it won't recover my sight. Something is up with my lens, and the garden wouldn't have those. Nor do I know where to find them. I suppose I'll look for a lens then. Where? In the field? There's nobody around. True. What was that? That's... Don't know. I'll go check it out. It sounds like something's coming on the the train. All right, where did her her breastplate go? I, I fucking accidentally threw it and then started talking to her. Where did it go? Where is your, where is it? I'm assuming that's like the train thing. There's that helmet. Well, your breastplate's kind of gone forever. Sorry, don't know where I threw it and the game's just like, nah. Apparently she doesn't need, is that it? No? Oh my god, that noise is kind of weird. Okay, we'll figure out what that is next time. Uh, I actually kind of fucked up and recorded for way longer than I should have. So I'm going to end up breaking this part into two parts. So part two is going to be me just ending it and kind of picking up. And then part three, I'll actually finish it as of right now. So with that, hopefully you guys are still enjoying this game. It's a little strenuous and a little frustrating in some points because the game will literally... Okay, that's annoying. Because the game will literally tell me to do something and not give me any hint on what to do it. Which, okay, it's fine. It's part of the whole puzzle aspect for it. But this game is a little hard sometimes. So, other than that, the story is interesting. I mean, it's cool and weird in the sense that this virus came about. And the only way to stop it was to use emotion. Apparently, it's some th something that came from emotion. Which I think is based off of an anime, actually. And then the best way to do that was to transplant human bodies into M bodies, which are the Android bodies, so that they could harvest it much easier and much better. Because I'm assuming it was probably a pain in the ass to get it actual out of actual people. And once it harvested that, then they could use it from the androids or something along those lines. I don't specifically know, but then there's like bad emotion and good emotion, and obviously the bad emotion can cause stuff to break. And it's not really the people's fault; it's just their bodies or whatnot. So anyway. This is interesting. It's a little hard at some points, but the story is pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to playing more of it. Hopefully, you guys are kind of enjoying it as well. I don't know how much longer this game has. Uh, if you guys notice, when you load game, it shows you all of like the, the missions, I guess, what you're doing. So right now, I'm on driver, apparently. I, I guess I'm going to go talk to the crazy guy. I'm assuming he's the one that drives that trolley that I keep hearing whenever I go by. But these are all the different things. So I have no idea how much longer this game has, but it is still kind of cool. If you guys want to check this game out for yourself, I'll put a link to it in the description below. You can pick it up on Steam. I think it's like 10 bucks, But in my opinion, it's kind of a cool little game. But I'm into, the, into this sci-fi interesting little stuff that has a lot of story. I mean, these two talk back and forth. And it's nice that they actually have voice acting and whatnot. And I don't have to talk. I mean, I wouldn't mind speaking my lines. But she... Uh, she She's got a pretty cool Android sounding voice. So again, with that, hopefully these I'll, I'll edit these episodes so they're not ridiculously long. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Maniacs out.